Hello everyone and welcome back to another Camper tutorial. My name is Ed and in this video I'll be showing you how to find and use our new lines features. You can now adjust the weight, style and start and end points of your lines, meaning there's a whole new way of using lines in Canva now. Really excited to get stuck in, so let's jump into Canva and have a look around. Okay, so here we are in this sandbox design that I've created. We're going to use this to have a look around and play with the lines. First things first though, we have to find the lines. So from your design, we're just going to go over to Elements and the lines are right over here. You can also search for lines, but I find that if you click see all, it searches for you. Here are all the lines that are available in Canva. We've got the more sort of basic and, and standard lines up the top. And as you scroll down, you start to see a whole bigger arrangement of lines. Some are more advanced, colored and stylized than the others. But for this particular tutorial, we're just gonna use the basic lines. I'm gonna put one in our design and just quickly reposition this. Perfect. So from this one basic line, we can now create a whole array of variations. So these variations on the right can all come from this one little line over here. To do that, you have to go to the top option bar. From there, you'll see a weight, a style, a line start, and a line end option. So from weight, you can change the thickness of your line to better match something like this or this. From style, you can change how your line actually looks. So we can have a sort of square ended line or we can go for something a little more rounded like this. We can also do a dashed line or a dotted line. And you can also even change how your line end and line starts look. So with the line start, we can choose an arrow. We can choose uh, an open circle, a filled circle, square, a filled square, diamond, and so on and so forth. And the same can be done with these line ends. So I thought it could be cool to actually look at these lines with some practical examples. So on this slide over here, I've got an example of a plotting line and an arrow. And I'm going to show you how to create these with Canva. So, and they look very different, don't they? But I assure you, there's an easy way to make this look like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the weight and just make this a little bit thicker. We're gonna change this to dotted and then we're gonna choose a filled line start and a filled circle line end. And we're just gonna tweak the size of this and the length of this to better match the example on the right there. And there we go. And then we're going to add some text in just for safe measure to give this a little more purpose. And again, these plotting lines are kind of cool for designs where you have to show a process or, or take the reader on a journey between one point and another point. Um, I use these quite often in my presentations and I quite like them. And yeah, there we are. So it didn't even take me a minute and we now have something you can use in yeah, your presentations or whatnot. And there you have it. So with arrows, arrows are quite simple to do as well. Again, we're just going to add a plain line. Yeah, be careful not to mess up the angle of it. <laughs> and from here, we're just going to change the line weight to make this a bit thicker. And we're going to add either a plain arrow or a filled arrow to the end, the line end. And from there, you can also, I guess, change the tail length. You can make it short or you can make it long. Um, and I guess you can probably even give it like a line start that looks like this if you wanted to show something chronologically or, or, or link to something else. And that's it for plotting and arrows. I have a bit of a hack to show you with this next example. It's for borders and frames. Let's jump in. Okay, so over here we have a border or a frame. Um, as you can tell, it's made from four lines. I've literally just pieced these together. We quickly undo that. But what you can do is, once you've created your, your frame or your border, you can group select the lines and then change the line start and line end and you'll get some results that are quite unexpected but really cool. So. What I've done here is I've added this breaker line style. What it's done is it's created this really cool, I guess, crossed um, corner effect on each of the corners of this frame or border. What you can do as well is you can select a open square 
and it creates this pretty cool effect, which I can see working quite well on birthday invites, cards, that sort of thing. And as well, I found this to be quite cool with the diamonds as well. It has this really cool double square effect, which I frankly found awesome. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this little foray into the wild, wild world of blinds. If you like this tutorial, please like this video and drop a comment below. I'd also love to see the ways you're using these line features. So please share your designs and we'll see you in the next one.